Hello, hello, my happy crafters. Hopefully everybody's having an awesome day. I know that I am. So you guys, as I mentioned to you guys before, I was going to be coming out with a video for the new style of the pockets um, for the ATCs. These are basically ATC holders, um, ATC pockets, however you want to call them. But basically, um, this is an idea that I came up with in order to be able to store, um, you know, in a nice display, the ATCs. Now, I've been hosting uh, ATC Swap. This is my second month hosting an ATC Swap. Um, and basically, we're going to be creating uh, these envelopes, these beautiful envelopes, and then we're going to be creating two ATCs um, to go inside of them. I have shared with you guys in the past the process of making the original um, folder for the standard size ATC. Now, I'm going to share with you guys today the how to make the pocket for your um, ATCs that are a little bit, you know, off size if you will so for this month of april we're going to be swapping atcs that are the size of four and a half by two and a half um this is actually not the right cutout for that but basically you end up with a rectangle shape like this as you guys can see here so what we're going to be doing today is um starting from scratch even though i do have kind of like my little template here we're going to start from scratch i'm going to share with you guys how to make a template because um, moving forward, especially if you're going to be participating in the Grant ATC Exchange, um, we're going to be doing different types of pockets, but based off of the, this size. The window shapes might change, the window sizes might change, but the diameter, you know, the width and the height of the envelopes, more or less are going to stay relatively, relatively the same so that I can fit them in a box, so that they all kind of, you know, go together in a box. Um, and so... I'm going to share with you guys how to do that. So I'm going to be doing this with a chipboard, which is why I pulled this out. I'm going to be doing this with a chipboard so that I can go ahead and save my master so that if in the future we end up doing similar dimensions, we don't have to do a whole tutorial for the process again. You guys already should have um, your templates and you'll be ready to go. And what's awesome about these envelopes or these pockets or these holders, however you would like to call them, um, is that we can it's not only good for like ATCs we can also store other things in there they're really awesome for sending like happy mail you know like little goodies inside of them you can put like stickers you know dimensional items embellishments you can do all different types of fun stuff and store them in a nice display for organization and for visual stimulation so let's go ahead and get started what we're going to need for this one we're going to need a piece of chipboard so I put up my 12 by 12 and um, we're going to need a folder because we're making these out of folders. Now, if, you're, if you don't have folders to make them from, that's quite all right. You're just going to need two pieces. You're going to need um, one that has your windows and then one that is completely flat so that it can be the back of your envelope. And then you're just going to need an additional gusset to place down here so that you can close your envelope together. Um, now, the way that we're doing this is so that you have that room, so that you have that flex in there. So you don't want to close it so tight that you can't even put your ATC in. This also kind of allows you to build up your ATC. So if you wanted to add a little bit more height or a little bit more dimension, then you can do so and know that your pieces are gonna be safely guarded inside. The template also allows for you to be able to cut out your papers because you can go ahead and use your template. And this might be a different topper because that's another awesome thing about this. You can basically um, you know, design your top or however you like, and then you just have to trim your paper to match, um, or, you know, however you would like to decorate the top. That's completely up to you, but you can also use your template to cut out your windows in your paper. If you're going to be decorating it with one solid sheet, and you can also use it to go ahead and, you know, readjust your tops and trace out your tops so that it kind of matches. So just a couple of ideas there as to why I like to store, um, the original in chipboard so I'm gonna go ahead and do that now I do have my original so I'm just gonna use this original here this template here to start the next template and what I'm going to be adjusting is the windows that are gonna go in the inside so we're gonna go ahead and do that and then once I'm done with this step I will come back and um, discuss with you guys the next step <laughs>
right, my friends. So now that we've gone ahead and traced out our template and cut out our chipboard base, what we're going to do is that we're going to go ahead and measure and then cut along these lines. So we're going to measure three and a quarter inch and we're going to draw ourselves a little line to indicate how deep into this pocket we want to get so that we know exactly where to place our windows. Okay, in the middle gusset, you're going to leave about a seven, you know, seven eighths of an inch of spacing between the two windows and then we're going to go ahead and measure again three quarters of an inch inward and we're going to draw ourselves a line. Since we're working with these folders, um, then you're already naturally going to have some um, scored lines here in the bottom. So that'll make it a little bit easier for you. You want to allow at least two of the spaces under the window. So if you're working from a folder, that's how much spacing you want. So two lines or two little um, bars and then you want to draw your line on that third on that third line right so we have the baseline the middle line and then this line here if you're if you're making it from scratch then you want to measure half an inch up okay so these are the measurements so that you guys can see on the top I like to make it the height of six and a quarter inches but that's a give or take it all depends on what your topper is going to look like just remember that you do have to mail these out so you don't want to make it so bulky or so high that it'll basically end up costing you way extra postage um you know to ship it because they also measure the height of the packages not just the weight all right you guys so i'm going to go ahead and measure my lines out onto my chipboard and i'm going to proceed to cut out the shapes once you cut out these windows, if you cut them out perfectly, then you're already going to have the dimensions for your ATCs. And you, so, you can also go ahead and store those and save those as templates for future ATCs. <laughs> Okay, my friends, so as you guys saw, I did have to make a little bit of an adjustment um, once I actually measured out the windows and everything and all the spacing on it. Um, the spacing in the center is actually going to be half an inch, not seven eighths of an inch. So it's going to be half an inch, and it should roughly square with the center of um, your folder, okay? So it should roughly square with the center of your folder. Three and a quarter inches on each side. The window should be four and a half by two and a half because that's the size of your actual ATC half a spacing in the center, so half an inch of spacing in the center, and then, um, you know, the same the same size on both, on both window areas. So now I'm going to go ahead and cut it out, and we'll have our template ready to go. And um, I will write all of these measurements down in the description area for you guys to be able to see it. Hopefully that will help assist you in creating your pockets for your ATCs, your little storage um, pockets. So... I'll be back with you guys um, after I've done cut out all these different pieces and then we'll proceed to 
Um, do the same thing to the envelope. I mean, not to the envelope, to the folder. So we're going to do the same thing to this. All right, you guys? So we'll be back. my friends so we've gone ahead and cut out um, our template so as you guys notice I almost cut on the wrong line I kind of went halfway down and then noticed thank God for that either way I still would have been able to you know remove the other piece so but I still have at least one good size that I'm gonna be able to use plus we're also gonna have what's left over inside of the ATC folder um, so we're gonna go ahead and trace this out so you guys are gonna see me basically repeating the same steps I'm going to trace it out, measure out three quarters of an inch here, and then basically trace out my ATC, which I already have, and then go ahead and measure three quarters of an inch from the inside and trace out my ATC. That should leave me with about exactly half an inch in the center. Again, we have half an inch from the bottom. If you're lining it up against your folder, you're going to notice that it's that um, bottom line right here, that base of the window, is going to fall right on that uh, second score line from the bottom, okay? So we're going to go ahead and follow that up. And then we're also going to, um, I'm not sure if I'm going to build the whole thing here as in decorating the whole thing, but I definitely wanted to show you guys um, most of the process so that it'll get you wall on your way. So we'll go ahead and trace out real quick um, also a sheet of paper. This is all going to be the same steps basically repeated. So I just wanted to give you guys the measurements. The rest of the video is going to be with... Um, some music playing in the background. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to um, ask me them down below or, or contact me directly. For all of my ATC friends that are swapping for this month of April, if you haven't checked out the community pros, um, please do so. Everybody has already been commenting there that's going to be signing up. And I do hope to see some of you guys for the May swap. We're going to be doing this every single month. And every single month is going to be a different theme, a different style. So looking forward to that. So you guys enjoy and I cannot wait to see what you guys create. If you use this for anything other than the ATC swap, I will greatly appreciate it if you will link this channel. Um, when you share your project, I would love to see how yours came out. Thanks so much for watching and uh, enjoy. <laughs>
Alright my friends, so as you guys saw, I did go ahead and um, glue in my back for the inside of um, of my pocket. Now we are going to need, something fell over there, <laughs> I don't know what. Um, we are going to need three gussets, you're going to need a gusset for the center, which is going to get um, glued in here, so make sure that your back spacing is as wide as this or a little bit um, less so that you can glue it on without it overlapping I am going to make some adjustments to this piece here and you're going to basically glue it on one side down and then this side is going to get glued onto your back okay and this again is just going to allow for you to be able to store ATCs that have dimensions or again if you don't want to use it for ATCs and what you would like to do is um, maybe send it in Happy Meal with some goodies or something like that then the bigger your gussets are, like the more um, folds it has, the more you'll be able to expand um, your envelope, your pocket. Like again, however you would like to call it. Um, there's many different ways to label it, but it's basically a storage. Um, and then as you guys saw, I just basically used some scraps. Now, you can go ahead and double, foil, um, double fold the paper like I did with this one. And then you don't have to worry about decorating your gussets um, they'll already be decorated I am going to go ahead and add some double sided tape um, just to one side of the fold just so that I can make sure that it's nice and tight and it's not going to be opening up on me and I'll probably distress the ends or at least the top end that's going to show and then glue those into place now before I go ahead and glue that into place the next thing that we're going to need which I did forget to mention is we're going to need a piece of plastic um, some kind of packaging to place here so I have uh, a piece right here, hopefully you guys can see that, definitely hear it, um, and that's going to get placed right in here. And you want to make sure that you cut it out wide enough to cover your entire area, or if you're going to cut it out, you know, for the individual windows, which was a mistake I did before, I learned since then, it's much easier if you just cut out one sheet and then you just glue it down. And then you can put double-sided tape on this end here. Um, and if you don't have double sided tape, then you might want to go ahead and just cut this down just a smidge and place your windows, glue your windows in. That way you have some paper exposed in the center so that you can go ahead and um, have an area to be able to glue your paper down to. Because if you glue it onto plastic, it's probably not going to hold. So that's basically what we're going to do. Um, I'm going to distress this a little bit. I might add some stamping to it. I'm not really quite sure. Again, I'm not going to go full decoration on this. If you do want to see how mine is going to turn out, then definitely make sure to tune in to our Grant ATC um, shares that we're going to be doing. All of the, well, not all of them, but a lot of the participants are going to be sharing their creations on their channels. Um, some of them might even have process tutorials for how they go about creating their projects. So definitely go ahead and check them out. Um, and I encourage you to join us. This is going to be a lot of fun. It's been a lot of fun so far and the projects are going to continue to evolve as we move forward. So I don't want to continue to interrupt. I think that that's all that I really wanted to tell you guys real quick before I forgot. Um, and yeah, basically you're just going to need three sheets. You're going to need two backings. Um, the back, this back here, you're going to have to, um, 
measure out independently because it's not going to be the same as how I did for these two that are going to go one over the other. The back is obviously going to be in an opposite direction. So if you're freehanding it like I did, then you might not have the same exact curvature <laughs> going along. So definitely make sure that you uh, measure that out on its own. And you can do all of that before you even get your construction going. That way you have all your pieces ready to go. Don't forget your plastic goes on before your gussets, you guys, and not after because then you're going to have a hard time. I did that a few times and it's no fun to try to fix it after your envelope is completely done, after your pocket is completely done. That is not fun. So I'm going to go ahead and build the rest of this together. And um, yeah, you guys, hopefully you enjoyed. Don't forget to give this video a big old like. Definitely share this on your social media. I encourage you to encourage others. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Don't forget to leave me a comment down below and subscribe if you haven't subscribed. And if you would like to join and create it right along with us, then I encourage you to do that as well. I will catch you guys out on the next one and on to the rest of the tutorial. <laughs>